up YouTube and Lazy Lama here and here we are back with some more of this beautiful game, Automo Chef here. Um, we got Burger Frenzy, the optional event. Um, I'm assuming C1 is challenge one. I'm gonna actually go in for it. It seems pretty rough. It seems like it looks it's got some pretty hard goals. 50 meals. Um, so 50 orders, very low wattage for 50 orders, and then it's just a plain burger though. So like I think we'll be okay. It might take a little bit of managing. Um, we've got something slightly different for us today. Uh, if you're familiar with speed eating, a local human is trying to set a record for eating the most plain burgers in two minutes. Um, cool, cool. We're just making 50 plain burgers very fast. Um, if the water isn't so low, I would honestly say we... I'm thinking about honestly coming down from the top because of how easy this is going to be. I can use a lot less if I just do that. Oh, did I put a smart one? We said this to the obvious plain burger. And plain burgers are very simple. It's literally cook meat and put a bun. So I can make it very, very small. Um, we can have that as a bun. That is cooked meat. We need a dumb one there, a dumb one there, a smart one here, and simply... Uh, grill. I'm like looking for this thing. Can't find that anywhere. Alright, cool. So we set this guy up to distribute buns. Gotta make sure you hit okay on it. Um, this one to distribute patties. And then this one to take in cooked patties. If you remember last episode, we had a little bit of a mess up on that. But boom, cooked patties. And that there should work. I'm gonna start us off with having the um, order dispenser. or order. Oh, it's not even here. This is just going to cook infinitely. Okay. Well, let's see if it goes quick enough. If we need to set up a second one, which... Oh, yeah. It's literally just... We're going. I'm worried about the power usage, but... It should just go infinitely, which is just bang this out. This actually might be very easy. This might actually be <laughs> really, really easy. Ah, oh, man. Our power is getting up there for the order number we're at, though. I don't know. I'm not sure how it's... What do I fail with? Out of time? How do you do that? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Second speed ingredients, you can only increase that. If I do much more, the power is going to go up so much. There's no way to like speed that up. Operational mode, high speed. See what that does to things? This is gonna be a little bit of playing around. Where's the time at? Oh. It's literally just two minutes. Oh, no way. We're gonna need a lot more. I don't know how I'm gonna keep energy that low though. Only 30 seconds left. Yeah, that's another fail. We definitely get more done that way. We need more assemblers. Oh, man. We only got 20 meals done. Gosh, I don't know. Uh, let's try that. Um, C1 plain burger. So I need a total of three of them at that current speed to do it. I wish there was just an easy way to delete these. Oh, you can hit delete key. So I would need three of these, and I'll put them actually up here, so... Eh. I just don't think power is going to keep within that. And then we simply go in here and add a couple conveyors. 
and that technically in the time limit will work. I don't know if I'll get everything else though. That will fit the time restrictions because we did 20 with this setup before. We're definitely popping a lot more out, but that energy use is going up rapidly. Uh, I think we're gonna pass the energy here. Ooh. Oh man, we actually did it. Wow, that's all three. That's all it was. I still kept the same efficiency, which is weird. I feel like space efficiency would be less, but okay. I suppose it's cool. Um, I guess we'll do this one too. I honestly thought that was gonna take a little bit more time. I thought <laughs> I thought that was gonna be it. Uh, this might be a little bit of a longer episode then, because I guess we're gonna go do street food too. We might as well see if we can get it done. Thirty orders fulfilled. Big power thing. We have to do. Some kind of fries and some kind of... Is that, I don't think that's the BLT, but... Um, two reasons, blah, blah, blah. Now we're doing a chicken melt and fries as a side offer. Uh, the facility... Um, we've got a, a new machine, a machinery, including a packaging machine that we will need for the fries and a storage unit that can be kept fresh meals. Oh man, this is gonna get crazier. Secondly, we have a critic arriving. The taste of food, the critic will be arriving at some point during the service. Their order should be easy to tell from others. Just try your best. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Storage unit. So it's literally just a small chest to store up to five ingredients or finished dishes. <laughs> okay. Um, the Fryomatic. Ingredients gate, dude. There's so much stuff. The ingredient allows ingredients to go. Through. This should have been its own episode. Um, okay. Go when the order reader. Okay, man, that's a splitter, dude. This is getting intense. Takes items coming from one conveyor belt and sends a half of them through another one. All right, potatoes, potato wedges for food processor. Maybe double. Oh no, that's fried. Sorry. And then okay. Food processor, fry, fries. Do I have to like do all this other stuff? <laughs> grill the chicken. So grilled chicken, then food processor. Oh my god, this is gonna be so complicated. This is gonna be so complicated. So that blueprint stays, right? Yeah. If I ever need a quick, normal burger, that's a simple way just to get plain burgers going. Um, I'm probably gonna cut out on you guys in this one and try to figure this out a little bit. In the packing machine, simply machine that puts food into cardboard boxes. So that's needed for fries, not an assembler. So let's get fries dealt with. That seems easy. And we might even box some fries or something. I don't really know. Uh, I don't know if we're supposed to use all this new machinery, but um, definitely just gonna let's chill with a dispenser. Boom. Right into a food processor. Boom. Into the frymatic, which I'm assuming we need to uh, dumb arm into and dumb arm out of. Into a not a dispenser. A uh, not storage. You know where is it? Did I just look at it? Yeah, the packing machine. There is an arrow on it. Um, like this would technically be at it. And I'm assuming those might take a bit of time, which is probably why we have like the boxing and stuff. And then yeah, that boxes fries up. And if I, I think the simulate order will literally just give me a fry order to do. Which will keep going because I don't have anything on it. Okay. How many fries are needed to make a fry? It's full. This is where the kitchen falls apart. Um, why was that not frying? Potato wedges into fries. You just should need this. Unless that belt... Okay. That's what it is. Um, 
I just want to verify the fries are working. Because this is a whole new thing to us. <laughs> they just don't seem to work. I don't know why I can't make fries. Potato edges. Am I blind? Potato edges. Fried potato edges. Oh. It's pulling them out early. For anyone who didn't catch that. Fried potato edges. Uh, I used the, um, I wasn't using the right thing. So this will definitely work. I might not even need this guy. And I kind of want to try it without it real quick. Just see what happens. Um, uh, I guess just delete. I really don't think you do because the belt comes through. I'm sure it just goes onto the belt and that's it. So that, sh that should work. Just trying to make sure fries are working. I know I can't figure the melt thing out. It's just like a burger. I'll probably do some of that honestly off camera. Yeah, fries. Boom. Easy. And we just have that go with an order reader and it's done so. I could technically storage unit or um, the gate and stuff. It's all, all new stuff. I don't know why we necessarily have. But let's take another look at this. So two bread. Cook it up. Um... It's not hard to do something like that. The only thing we need two of is bread. So we'll need two grills of its own or just use the grill differently. I don't know, even a third grill. I could do these on a single grill and this on its own grill. I'm a little worried about power. That's the biggest thing I'm worried about. Assembler is somewhere about here. Uh... I'm assuming we're gonna have to like make things ahead of time because it's like that's why it's gotta give us some of the storage unit stuff. I'm sure. I'm sure we gotta get things out quick, but um, so let's try to do this real quick. Um, dispense bread, two bread, space, grill, space. Belt, belt. Okay, so that can be closer and stuff. And then I need chicken goes through a process, which is the only thing. Let's get the bread thing going, because bread's easy. Bread slice. Bam. Um, grill, which I know is going to be closer. Grill can go all the way up to here, which means this is actually here. Um, cool, cool, cool. we got a dumb thing pulling the bread in. Again, this will distribute two, so we'll just literally use the order dispenser, because we have that, right? Yeah, the order reader. Um, and then a smart one. Not into that, but into that. Um... And that's easy enough bread, and then you pull cooked bread, or toast, or I think it's just called grilled bread, right? Toasted bread. Toast, nonetheless. This will be a chicken. The issue is, I might need to pull this back, because this might need to go in off a belt. Um, just because we have so many weird ingredients going into it, it probably will need to be a belt. Um, but I'm going to try to get everything else going into this spot with a belt. Um, so again, chicken was the weird one. Chicken, we need to grill the chicken and then food process the chicken. So that's not actually that hard. That just consumes one more space, basically. So if we go two more back, that allows me to throw a grill in, which will actually need the grill out more because bacon needs to go onto the grill, too. Um, so bacon here, for example. I can even do bacon. We can do it here. Um, and then... If we have this, I'm trying to like plan this out. It's hard to like talk while I do it. I keep losing where things are. Food processor. That's where the chicken goes. What else is needed in this thing? Cheese. That's that's easy enough. We'll do cheese up here. Uh, I can do cheese. We do need a conveyor belt here, 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 and here, and then cheese will just come in on this side. Um, this will be a smart one. Where's the bacon going in from? Uh, I don't actually have enough space here. I do need to go back here. Because uh, a dispenser needs to be giving the raw bacon. And a dumb one needs to take the raw bacon in. And then I need two different smart ones. A smart one needs to pull the chicken out this way, and a smart one needs to pull the bacon out this way. Both very easy to do. So again, we just add a couple more conveyor belts, and we're solid on that. Um, you give out broad chicken. You give out the bacon strips. And then you take the cooked chicken. 
grow chicken, and you take the cooked bacon. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. That all should work without a problem. And then just simply cheese. Right? And actually, I can literally just do this. Dispenser. Cheese. And then read order. Bam. Ba Bam. You're going to be a fry order, which should be connected to you and maybe the griller. Yeah, I guess the girl can probably turn down the same way a girl does when an order is pending and then give out a oops, single potato per order. Because it takes one potato, right? Yeah, one potato becomes fries. Perfect. You're a chicken melt. You're going to give me bread, um, bacon, boom, boom, and I'll actually need another water reader as well, but let's set these up. I need two bread, and that's the only thing I need two of. And I'm pretty positive this will work. And then just, again, one more order reader just because I'm pretty positive having those are actually worth it. There's actually two grills anyways. So, that's really worth it now. Pending and pending. Voila! Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I have nowhere for it to go. Um, <laughs> last thing. Just a dumb guy here. I'm giving a little... Bear there. And I hope that works. Wait till orders come in. If this doesn't work, I'm probably gonna need to take it back to the drawing board. And I'll come back when I get the idea. Unless it's something simple. Even on times two. Chicken bits got there. Oh! That should be it, though. I just had no way for things to get off this belt. Things just went from straight here to here. But nothing else that way. Chicken melt. Boom. I think we're solid. Chicken melts are crazy, but... I don't think energy used is going to be great. Although I feel like I'm being pretty efficient about this. I don't know how much better, efficiently-wise, I could get it, but... We're halfway, and yeah, actually, we should, we should be under. Because we should end somewhere around 1600 energy use. As long as I keep up on everything else, and I don't think I'm overusing ingredients, it's not like I'm storing things. Storing things might not be a bad idea. But I wouldn't want to overproduce things either. It's so cool looking at everything go. Only a couple more dishes. Uh, we don't even have to go to 31. So let's just get these out. Boom. That was easy. That wasn't that bad. Two things done. Got a little steam achievement too. 92% efficiency. We're gods. So good. So good at this. Um, I didn't even see the review guy come through. But anyways, guys, if you guys are enjoying this game, you guys want to see more of it, let me know. Smack the like button. As always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.